Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and today I am going to give you some secrets from the Secret Life of Pets attraction. So let's get started. The first one here is right when you enter the queue, definitely check under these mail flaps as you one to the right and this one I'm about to peek into right now. If you look at it under the mail flaps, you notice little surprises like there's a little party going on under there. Uh, which is pretty cool. So definitely check check under the nooks and crannies and the mail flaps of everything. And there's different things in each apartment uh, that you can look at. No Easter eggs. So definitely check those out when you're in the queue. The next one is this apartment building is like straight out of the movie. I mean, all the apartments, all the characters' apartments are exactly the same. It's literally like you're stepping into the movie or stepping into a New York apartment that's brand new like a Brooklyn apartment that has been propped up a little bit and is brand new which looks absolutely gorgeous I mean look at this awesome queue right here I mean you just pop on in apartment 18 it's super awesome and it's just really nice and it goes through all apartments goes through the kitchen and this is just it's a really really immersive queue it's like not even a queue itself there's no like railings for like switchbacks or anything because it's really an immersive keyword you are literally stepping into the apartment complex and there's, again those little easter eggs watch out for the vents there's screens and the little chipmunk or hamster is talking to you and there's homages to um different rides and different um, things in Universal in the queue as well. I believe there's one to Jurassic Park and maybe Jaws as well. There's lots of animatronics in this attraction too. You can go along and watch this TV. Um, it gives you the whole queue schmang. Yeah, but look at all the, all the pictures. All there's the different homages to the movies and and um, different homages to the just different things in Universal and the Snowball over here is uh, giving you the lowdown. This is a mix of Secret Life of Pets 1 and 2. So um, that's what you'll see in the queue here. <laughs> but yeah, those are all the queue secrets. secrets. But now we're going to get into some ride secrets and some technical secrets as well the first one is facial recognition technology and this will come up again a little later but look at this the universal or this ride uses facial recognition technology to transform you into a pet right there i wasn't really moving but i was that little dog which is really really cool and another good thing is this ride has 64 that's right 64 animatronics that is definitely the most in a ride at Universal Studios Hollywood and I mean I, I feel like that's one of the most in a uh, Universal Studios ride a Universal ride ever at any park but it's completely immersive and everywhere you turn there's something else happening like you have to ride this ride multiple times to really catch what is going on here <laughs> Another secret slash fun fact would be to use Express if you can um, for this ride. This particular video I filmed during the Touch of, or as I Taste of Universal event. So it was limited capacity, they're what, they're just kind of just opened. And I was one of the first, it was like, this was like the second day it was open, like ever. So it wasn't too busy and it was again taste of universal it was already kind of sold out um so it's not like you know they had extra tickets for people to come so it was a limited amount of people so the line was pretty moving you have to use a virtual queue and the virtual queue is pretty moving but nowadays the virtual queue is pretty slow um very slow in fact so if you use express you'll be much better off um, I highly stress you do that. It took me with Express. There's a sixty about sixty five minute queue. Even with Express, 
the it took me 30 about 30 minutes so half the time but still a long time definitely one of the longer express lines in the park hopefully they'll i'll get those queue like the operations of the queue better under control but definitely use express if you can when you are here if you can't use express then the thing about this ride it doesn't have a virtual queue all the time usually just in the middle of the day it kind of works how indiana jones is working where and a virtual queue then well, when it wasn't as pot when it wasn't as busy it'd be standby only now that's exactly what this is there's a virtual queue usually from the late morning through the early evening but if you come in that first hour of the park opening it's about maybe and then again like the last hour before it closes so a little iffy on the last hour before it closes but you should be able to find a standby line. A standby line won't be like 75 minutes. Like in the middle of the day, sometimes there's a standby line and it's 75 minutes. But you should be able to almost walk on this thing. Definitely when you come in, right in that first, that first hour of park opening. And it should be about 30 minutes or less when you go ahead and go in that last hour before park closing. Especially if they have like a 10 p.m. closing time. Then if you go between 9 and 10, people are already gone. They've been all there all day. You should be able to walk right on the attraction. So if you get to the Secret Life of Pets, you know, if you can't get, get Express, definitely go ahead and go in, uh, the, again, the first hour and the last hour of park operations. Going back to that facial recognition technology, there is a really cool part of this ride where they uh you can move there's a whole bunch of screens and you can move with the screens and here's an example of that right now <laughs> so as you can see this is the part where you're drying off and then you can move really move if you move your head move your arms move your your if you move down your dog will wag his tail and do all this cool stuff um it's best sometimes the ride stops for a brief moment it's really cool if you get to if you get stopped at that particular portion because then you can make a whole bunch of TikToks and take selfies and do a whole bunch of cool stuff um, playing with the facial recognition recognition technology. Um, so I've gotten stuck there a couple times and it's been amazing. <laughs> One very cool and unique thing that most people, the general public, may not know. Is that this ride, if you're wondering where it is, it's on the upper lot next to Sp the Spickle Me Minion Mayhem. And it replaced the Globe Theater, which was previously there. Which is awesome. It didn't replace any attraction, just the theater. And it took a relatively small space. And they d used a double-decker, uh, using multiple stories. They really amped it, revamped this place and a really cool, uh, really cool attraction. Lastly, this ride system is actually the same ride system used for the Yoshi ride in Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Japan and 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 Orlando and Epic Universe. But our version pictured here from a uh, Super Nintendo World construction update, I do and I'll, if you want to see those weekly updates, I'll link them in the top right corner. But this is from the latest update and right where that arrow is pointing was where like the show building it would be partial show building more like a people mover attraction where the yoshi would be because that tall structure is yoshi mountain right there and the attraction would be going in and around that tower like it does in japan but here it's just gonna be yoshi mountain but no attraction and we're looking at mario kart and hopefully donkey kong country as well and they decided to use that same rise, especially because as you see there's kind of or a lack on space down there in the lower lot. But they decided to use the same ride system for the Secret Life of Pets. And in my opinion, it's a massive, massive upgrade upgrade from the Yoshi attraction. Because uh, the Yoshi attraction is mostly outdoors. It definitely adds kinetic energy. But a couple show scenes, show scenes aren't, you know, amazing. And it has animatronics, but they aren't, like, a lot of them. And it isn't, like, amazing. Like, it's more, like I said, a people mover attraction. So the fact... That we got a whole indoor 64 animatronic Secret for Pets off the leash attraction. Again, that's also an exclusive as of right now. It's an exclusive to 
Holly, Universal Hollywood. Um, it's nowhere else in the world, so that's pretty cool. We can claim that title using the same ride system. So I think it was fantastic. Plus, the immersive queue alone makes it well worth it, in my opinion. But yeah, that's where the Yoshi ride was supposed to go. But again, we still get Yoshi Mountain. We still get Mario Kart, Princess Peach's, Princess Peach's Castle, the Bowser Castle, and then the Donkey Kong Coaster coming later on. Um, again, tune into those updates every single week. I post them. Subscribe for those, and uh, you can. I made a whole playlist, and I'll link that again in the top right corner. And that is it. Those are my secrets and tips and fun facts of how to ride the Secret Life of Pets attraction and what what, what uh, how it works, what the te- technology it's, it's using, and. The best way, best time to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, press that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And again, Super Nintendo World updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.